another thing that you'll see mentioned sometimes uh, in uh, binocular terminology is uh, roof prism or poro prism. Um, those are the two most popular prism styles used in binoculars nowadays. Uh, what that means is um, it's, it's the physical geometry of the prism that's inside the binocular that determines whether it's a roof or a poro prism. Now, on the outside of the binocular, the easiest way to determine which type of prism it has is, um, for instance, this binocular is uh, easily identifiable as a roof prism binocular because of these straight barrels that it has. Um, on a poral prism binocular, it'll, it'll be that real traditional look where the, the barrels are narrower out here and then they bump out wider and, and, uh, um, towards the objective lenses. Now, uh, why is it important to know the differences between those? Well, uh, practically speaking, a roof prism binocular is going to be more compact, generally lighter weight, and generally it's going to have a better, uh, it's easier to uh, have a better build quality, and it's easier to waterproof the binocular. However, there's uh, some trade-off as well, because in a roof prism system, uh, the light actually goes through six different reflections when it's bouncing around inside those prisms, whereas a poral prism only goes through four reflections. And that's important because each time the light reflects off of one of those surfaces inside the prism, you're losing a small fraction of light. So the fewer reflections you have, the more light that's transmitted through a binocular. So generally speaking, it's easier and cheaper to make a poral prism binocular have a uh, brighter image and better optical quality uh, than a roof prism binocular. Um, however, nowadays, um, with the popularity of roof prisms, manufacturers have really been uh, put a lot of R&D into the roof prism design, and so you can still get roof prisms that are, are very high-end and very good quality. It's just you're going to pay more money yeah. for it. Portals probably represent a, a, a great way for someone to get started with optics. Uh, you know, one of the best things to say about them is they generally reflect very good value, and it's it's a great way to to start younger people. Or you, if you just haven't got a big budget to get going with, Poros are a good way to do it. Uh, they're going to give you lots of bang for the buck, lots of image quality for what you spend. You just have to be a little more careful with them. You ha you have to treat them more carefully. They're they're more susceptible if they're bumped or banged to to, to going out of adjustment. Uh, as Sam pointed out, many of them are not waterproof, so there are some limitations. But but they're a great way for someone to get started. With